I know brothers that get so depressed because their engagement broke up, subhanAllah. I know sisters that get so depressed because their engagement broke up, Allah Akbar. How? How can you be sad? How can you think of it as a loss when Allah just removes something from you so that you can find the one that you were supposed to be with? That person that you lost, they were never yours. So how can you have lost them? Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah. Rabbi shrahi sadli wa yisili amri wa ahlal uqtata min sani yafnahu qawli. We begin by praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We praise Him, we thank Him for everything that He's provided for us. And we send blessings and salutations upon the Messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam upon him, his companions, and of course all of you as well. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us and to forgive us and to reward us for this beautiful gathering. I noticed when I said Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, not everyone said salawat on him. And let me tell you something right now. In France, 10 years ago, the anniversary is coming up for a man named Charlie Hebdo where he started the fitna of drawing the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now you see, there's people who are ignorant out there. They're ignorant people, hate-filled people. Hate-filled people who want to degrade the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, but we know the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the most honored. True? I can't blame those who don't have any knowledge, but what's our excuse? What's really degrading? Someone drawing a picture of the most beautiful human being to ever walk this earth? Or you and I who claim to love him? But we don't send salawat on him. So say it, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We have to be the ones who embody the character of the sunnah and of the messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That's what we Today's topic is about how Muslims, you and me, we can't lose. How we can't lose. How can that be? Brother SQ, I see loss all the time. Someone dies, someone passes away, that's loss. How can we not lose? It's simple. You see, when someone passes away, the first thing that we say is, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji. True? We say that all the time. That's not what it's for, but we use it for that. The, uh, you know, Allah SWT teaches us in the Quran that when a musibah, an issue, a problem, a test, a circumstances, Befalls the believer, they call upon Allah and they remember something that we all belong to Allah, we have to return to Him. You see, loss doesn't exist. Loss is not a real thing, it's our perception. You don't lose anyone when they die, they return back to Allah. You see, when you say you lost something, that sounds really bad. When you say you return back to Allah, it's a different type of vibe. You see, a Muslim can't lose because loss doesn't exist. When you lose something, that means you don't know where it is. But Allah SWT is a samiul alim. How can you lose when Allah SWT knows all the knowledge? How can you claim to have lost something when Allah SWT is fully aware about that thing that you've lost? I know brothers that get so depressed because their engagement broke up, subhanAllah. I know sisters that get so depressed because their engagement broke up, Allah Akbar. How? How can you be sad? How can you think of it as a loss when Allah just removes something from you so that you can find the one that you were supposed to be with? That person that you lost, they were never yours. So how can you have lost them? They didn't belong to you. They returned to that who it belonged to and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala freed our space so that we can find the person that we were supposed to marry. If you keep thinking that you are losing, then that's exactly what's going to happen. But the Messenger also has taught us something in a Hadith Qudsi. That we, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to his slave or to his servant as we perceive him to be. So if you believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is targeting you, harming you, making things difficult to, for you, then I want to let you know something that you're right. That's exactly what's happening to you. But if you perceive Allah Azza wa Jal to be testing you, developing you, strengthening you, sculpting you, making you stronger so He can elevate your 
status in paradise, well then that's what's happening to you. You see, as a Muslim, we can't lose because loss is not a real thing. Loss is a perception that we have and nothing is lost in this dunya. It transforms into something else. If you think that something happened to your car, to your vehicle or something like that, you didn't lose anything at all. Instead, Allah tested you. He rewarded you. How can you have loss when because of your sabr, your patience, Allah just rewarded you. How is that a loss? Instead, when you go and see Allah as a on the day of judgment, aren't you going to be so excited and happy to see that, wow, because of your sabr, because of your patience that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rewarded you, there will be people on that day who were rewarded for all the hardships that they endured in this world. And they're going to see the reward for it. And they're going to say, Allah, I wish Allah, you would have kept me in hardship my whole life so I could have more reward. So when hardship befalls you, instead of running away from it, embrace it, enjoy it. Because this is Allah's way of, of increasing your ranks in paradise and helping you strengthen your southern muscle. Because indeed a Muslim can't lose. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us, to reward us, to forgive us. Remember there is a dinner happening for a fundraiser. Please make sure that you're showing up to that. It's going to be incredible. And it is for the future of not just us, but our progeny, our offspring as well. That's happening on November 14th. Please make sure that you show up and donate. If you can't show up, just donate and purchase a ticket. Because I'm going to have one listening. SubhanAllah.